y'all, and welcome to episode 95 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay, and this is my YouTube channel where I share all about my knitting and crocheting. So today is April 8th, and we've got quite a few things to talk about today. I have a couple of knit-alongs to share with you guys. I have a few works in progress, one finished object, and we're also going to announce the winner of the Clark and L Summer Minis that I announced the giveaway last episode. So let's go ahead and jump right in, grab your knitting, your coffee, whatever you're drinking today, and let's get started. So first up, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and we do have a group for the podcast over on Ravelry. That's where you're going to find information about any knit-alongs. There's a Scrappy Sunday thread, some good chatter, some giveaways, all that usually happens over there. So you can head over to Ravelry up at the top, hit the groups tab, search Crazy Sock Lady podcast, or if you just look right down below this video in the down bar, you're going to find links to everywhere that you can find me, links to the Ravelry group, show notes, links to shops, all of that will be right there for you guys. In the Ravelry group, we do have two knit-alongs that are going on right now. The first one is the Sash Busters Cal. This is a year-long knit-along that I'm co-hosting with Julie from Twin Stitches Designs. And it's basically just use your stash. I won't go through all of the details on it. I do have a video here on YouTube that talks all about the rules and information on it. And then everything is in the chatter threads in the Ravelry group as well. And Julie also has threads open in her group. So you have double the chances there to get some prizes if you want to join both groups and enter into both. I will link everything down below for you guys for that. And then I did start a new knit along last episode for the Rainbow Connection socks, a new design that came out. So I pulled these off, I have them hanging on the wall. I pulled them off to show you the pattern again. So the knit along started April 1st when this sock pattern released and it'll end, I think the date I set was July 31st. So all of the information's in the chatter thread, which I'll link down below. You just have to knit up a pair of these socks and put your finished object in the finished objects thread and then we'll do some prizes for that. Today is the last day to use the coupon code for these socks. So depending on when this goes up and when you watch it, you may still be able to get 15% off if you use the code rainbow. That ends at midnight, my time here in Arizona um, on April 8th. So you may still be able to use that. I only have one finished object this episode. I finished my what color is your sheep socks. This was a special colorway from Fiber Nymph Dye Works for Needles Up in 2018. I believe it was Needles Up Maryland. And I got these done last night because if you remember from last episode, I said I was going to attempt to have them done by this next time that I podcasted and they're done. I kind of am enjoying setting that goal for myself. It motivates me to really get things off the needles a little quicker. And I, if I wouldn't have finished these, I would have had no finished objects to share. So I really worked hard yesterday to get these done. And I'm pretty pleased with how well they match up. Only there on the toe. That one has a little bit of the purple and that one doesn't. I think that's purple. Yep. But yeah, they did, they did really well. So I had a boo-boo when I did the second sock. So I did the first one and I used, it came with a coordinating mini. I used that for the heel. But when I did the second sock, I was like down to here and I realized I did not use that coordinating mini. So I ripped back and put it in so that they would match. At first I was like, oh, it's not gonna bother me, but it was bothering me. So I did rip back and add in that coordinating collar for the heel. And I did these on nine inch circulars, US one, 2.25 millimeter needles, 64 stitches. I did a slip stitch heel flap and then just my basic toe that I always do. Instructions for how I do my heel flap and my toe can be found in any of my patterns on Ravelry or Etsy. I do have a couple of free ones on Ravelry that do have the information for those. So you can find that over there. And then I have a couple of works in progress. I've been working a lot on new designs 
and things. So I don't really have a lot that I can show right now. I did give a little bit of a sneak peek in the past couple of day in the life vlogs for the new designs that are coming up. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit of those, you can head over and see the yarn and all of that that I got ready the other day for those. But the first work in progress, I do not have very much done on this at all. I have it in my knit one and sew two bag that I, this was supposed to be my, for my purse knitting. Just this bag fits perfect down inside of a purse or a tote bag. But since we're not really going anywhere to knit out right now, I'm just working on it like this, but Calvin, the kitty, he can get into it. So I have to watch because he can stick his head right in there and grab the yarn since it doesn't zip or snap or anything at the top. So Julie of Twin Stitches Designs is doing a second sock challenge. I talked about the first one. I did that one. She's doing another one. It's knit a pair of adult socks in one week. I think the dates are April 5th to April 11th, I believe. All of the information is over in her Ravelry group and on her Instagram as well. But I love a good challenge, especially with sock knitting. So I joined in again, not doing as well this time as I did last time, but that's okay. If I don't get them done, it's not a big deal. So the yarn I'm using, I picked up, goodness, it was right after we moved here. I went to Tempe Yarn and Fiber and I picked it up there. It is by Knitty Kitty Bags. And I believe the colorway is Siberian. It is a sock set that has a full skein of yarn, gorgeous pink can't tell for some reason I'm really liking pink lately which is not like me but I loved the gray in this too that's what really caught my eye was the pink and gray together when I got these so I have just started I mean that is there's not even half a cuff <laughs> just barely cast on that is it So I'm hoping to get some work done on these today. I cast on 64 stitches, US one, 2.25 millimeter needles as usual. And these are my Chow Gu red lace needles. And I'm planning on using this for the heel flap and heel turn at the very least. I may use it for the toe as well, not positive, but these are gonna be a Christmas gift. I'm going to get them done. The idea was to get them done in a week and boom, I've got a Christmas gift already set aside, but we'll see. These are gonna to go to my mother-in-law for a Christmas gift this year. The only other work in progress that I have to show you guys is, well, I guess I do have another finished object. I forgot about this. I finished a dishcloth on Saturday. Just been using some scraps. I have two uh, basket bin type things on top of my cabinets here that have just random leftover bits of cotton yarn. Some's from Hobby Lobby, some's from Michaels, like the peaches and cream, sugar and cream, random bits of it all. So I'm trying to use that up and just kind of making some scrappy dishcloths. They're my favorite to make. So I finished that one and then I started this one. I started it on Saturday. And the pattern that I use is, I think it's grandma's dishcloth. I will link it down below because I don't have a project page for these dishcloths. So I will link the pattern below. I know it's by PJ Allen, but I know there are so many variations of that. There's like grandma's favorite, I think this is grandma's dishcloth, like grandma's second favorite or something like that is what it says on Ravelry. It is a free pattern on Ravelry and it comes with two options. So you start down here and you're increasing and then you, let me show you this one since it's done. So you start here, you increase all the way up and then you're decreasing back down to a point. It has two options. You can have, like I've done here, there are no holes or you can have yarn overs along all of your sides. I don't really like the look of the yarn overs. I prefer the no holes version. So that's what I do. And 
yeah, these have been fun to make. I really enjoy just grabbing some yarns out of there. I'll usually put them in a project bag and then I'll just pick from the ones that I've kind of put together. I do try to choose ones that are gonna look good together. Don't go too crazy on them. And I'm hoping, I worked on, not a ton last year. I didn't do like one week or anything like that. I think I attempted it, but I didn't stick with it. But I worked on a decent amount last year and then I had enough set aside that when it came time for Christmas, I could gift some. So that was fun. And I thought I might get some of these done and then I don't know if I'll set them aside for Christmas or just kind of mail them out. It was like little surprise gifts for some family members. And these are on Chowgu Red Lace again. And I'm using a US 8 five millimeter for these. That's the only other work in progress that I have to show. I started a new shawl design, a new sock design. I finished one sock design. I could go ahead and show you guys that because I've shown it on the vlogs as well. This is out of Crafty Cassie Yarns in the Storm Cloud colorway. And this is, the pattern is ready, pictures are done. I just need to get testers. So the plan is tomorrow, April 9th, I'm going to post on Instagram in the Insta stories, a call for test knitters. So if you're interested, that is the only way to sign up. You can't message me, email me. The only way to do it is when I post it on the Insta stories to follow that link and sign up in that Google Doc, and then I will choose testers. Usually do that within 24 hours after I take the call down. So head over and check that out if you're interested in test knitting. So last episode, I announced a giveaway for the Clark and L Summer Minis, and I went ahead and drew a winner before I started recording from the YouTube comments on episode 94. And the winner, your YouTube name is Anna Knitter. So Anna, if you would contact me at the email address linked down below and give me your shipping information and I can get that sent over so that they can send those out. I think she said she's getting everything ready to go for the summer minis. And I think that about wraps up today for all of the knitting stuff. I've been doing a couple more day in the life vlogs. Like I said, I'm hoping to do two of those a week. I've really enjoyed recording them, putting them together. And it seems like you guys are enjoying seeing a peek into everyday life around here. Just the normal day-to-day -day things. We've settled into a new routine with schoolwork nicely. It's going pretty well. I actually somehow feel like I'm getting more work done than I normally would. I think because I can sit in there with the boys at the table with my computer or you know whatever design I'm knitting on and I sit there the whole time that they're doing their schoolwork so I'm not distracted by things that need to be done around the house all morning. I have a couple of hours of just getting work done. So somehow it seems like I'm getting more work done. I guess if they were younger it would be a little different because they would need more help with their schoolwork but you know, they're both a little older so they can sit there and get their stuff done and it's rare that they they need my assistance with it so it has been nice i hope that you all are doing well that you're all healthy and i will see you guys again hopefully next week for another regular episode but between now and then keep an eye out for those day in the life of vlogs if you're interested in that and i will see you guys again soon happy knitting bye